YouTube, it's Faye, and for today's video, I have, as you can probably see behind me, a kind of, sort of, cam timing video. I ran into a little issue because why can anything ever just be easy on this build? Uh, and I'll explain that at the end of the video, but that's okay. You know, we all run into issues. This is like real world building. This is not TV magic, um, which, you know, I partake in a little bit in my other job. So um, this is, you know what? This is just all about balance. I'm, I'm, I'm balancing um, reality versus, uh, versus TV magic right now, I guess. So um, in today's video, I'm going to explain how to begin, how to set up our little degree wheel and just verify TDC and intake and exhaust center line. So when you buy a set of aftermarket cams, it's going to come with little cam card gives you all sorts of useful information. Um, and so what I'm going to be degreeing off of is of course the intake and exhaust cam center line. So I'm going to look up that on my spec sheet and I've got an intake cam of 110 degrees and the exhaust cam is 118 degrees. The first thing I'm going to do is set up my degree wheel and just verify top dead center. And then I'm going to go ahead and find these center lines. So let's go. All right. So here's what I've got so far. Here's my little, eh, my little piece of wire. So you mark TDC and of course this wire is kind of thick so I went ahead and actually like put a little mark on there so I have first I whited it out and then I drew like a sharpie on top of it so I know like that is exactly zero you can see like slightly off of zero right now first thing I'm gonna do is verify that this is actually zero on the degree wheel that is actually the piston at top dead center there's like that point at which the piston is like at the top but the connecting rod is still moving like the dwell. So what I'm going to do actually is pick an arbitrary number here on the dial indicator. 30 thousandths. The number doesn't really matter. I'm just going to make sure that it's the same like both back and forwards. And so I'll be able to calculate the amount of movement back and forward, mark it on the degree wheel and actually find the real true TDC and what this wheel says actually correlates with what's happening inside my engine. So that's going to be my first step. So I stick a razor blade and I cut my tape <laughs> into little triangles and I'm gonna use those as my indicators and we gotta be super precise here, so. So with my dial indicator showing 30 thousandths in this direction, then so you can see that I've got eight degrees and now we're going to go in the opposite direction of interpretation and see that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is go back to zero on the dial indicator and then once again, get it back to 30. Oh my God. Perfect. We went from this mark to this mark and there's 19 degrees there. 19 divided in half is nine and a half. So that line right there is nine and a half. That's perfect center. That is TDC, right? So now I'm going to move that to TDC. So now that I've figured out TDC, I'm going to do the exact same thing for the cams. And also, can I just say that setting these up is a total nightmare. There's so little clearance in here that I'm going off of. So I'm going to spare you like the hours, <laughs> yes, hours, plural, of footage that I have of actually like setting all of these up. And uh, I'm going to fast forward it, but just know that if you struggle to set up your dial indicators, there's not a lot of real estate going on around here. So um, it's... It's a struggle, not just for you, but for me and probably for everybody. At least I hope for everybody. Otherwise I'm gonna feel lame, but all right. <laughs> Start the intake cam and I'm going to, once again, find that beginning and end of my dwell. We're gonna just dwell on it for a little bit. And then we're gonna go, let's see, I'll go to 30 again, why not? There, okay. All right, and now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go back. There's the dwell and back to 30. All right, now I'm just gonna verify that. So we're gonna, once again, go back to zero and then forward to 30. Just, yep, I mean, that's perfect. And then, yep, that's perfect. Just because I'm a perfectionist though, I'm gonna do it one more time. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing, count them and find the center point of my intake cam load now. Yep, 69. All right, so 34 and a half. All right, so I've verified my TDC, I've verified my intake cam center line, and now I'm just moving on to the last one, my exhaust 
Cam, center line. Okay. Take it to 30. All right, and I'll mark that. And now back the other way to 30. And mark it. And now, of course, I'm just going to go back and forth and verify once again, 30 degrees and 30 degrees, and just make sure that we're good to go so I can find my center line there. It's looking pretty promising right now, though, isn't it? Okay, to zero and 30. Yup. Yeah. Beautiful. And zero and 30. Awesome. Wow. Right on the mark. But just because I'm me, I'm going to do it again. And 30. Awesome. Okay, we are good to go. All right, so here's where some math comes in. Um, so we're at what, 148 and 80. So 150 minus 80 is 70. So 148 minus 80 is 68. Um, divided by two is 34. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. I'm at 114. Cool. So then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 plus three, plus one, 34. Okay, so um, that is my exhaust center line. Now, I don't profess at all to be any sort of like camshaft genius or anything like that. I, I don't know much about camshafts. Now, Danny has a ton of books on camshafts, and one thing that he's always told me is like the more he learns about camshafts, the more he realizes that he doesn't know anything about camshafts. So all that I can do as a consumer is just take what the engineers have already worked hard to figure out, and they say that, okay, it is at its maximum performance when the center line is where it needs to be. Uh, so all I'm going to do is make sure that I set up these beautiful adjustable cam gears so that the center line is actually, in fact, at center line where it's designed to be. Cool. Now, like a normal person would just go ahead and do this right now and call it good and move on. But then, and Danny asked me, have you measured the lift? And I'm like, no, <laughs> uh, I have not, but I should try to do so. From here, a normal person would probably just uh, degree their cams to match the exact lobe center line that one would want, and then I would just do that and this video would be over. However, I have a Danny in my life, so uh, now the time has come to show you the problem I ran into. So I mean, uh, they're, <sighs> they're amazingly c close. Within one or two, it's is amazing. Um, what, but but we're not close here. Yes. <laughs> 